15 millimeter. Eight millimeter. So today it's a beautiful autumn day in October. And as you see, the autumn colors are just starting to show. Uh, so I thought it was a good opportunity to try out a lens that I've purchased pretty recently. It's the Canon 8 to 15 mm fisheye zoom lens. And it is quite unique with a fisheye zoom. 8 mm on full frame means that you get 180 degrees uh, viewing angle. Uh, which means that your image uh, will be a circle and not a square. Uh, at 15 millimeters uh, you will not have any vignetting at all, then you will have like a normal image, but uh, it will be distorted because it is a fisheye lens, uh, you will not have like straight edges uh, in the frame. But it could make for a pretty cool effect in some uh, situations. So I'm gonna see what I can do today with this lens and the fall colors. Something which is very nice about this lens is that it works really well on Sony cameras with a meter bones adapter, at least on my a7 III. Autofocus works perfectly. But with a lens like this, that is so wide, in most cases uh, you will want to focus on infinity anyway. But it's nice to have good autofocus, doesn't hurt. The close focusing distance is pretty short and images tend to come out quite cool actually. Uh, not unlike the Lova 15mm. I'm thinking I want to try to put an extension tube on this. Uh, it could become a pretty interesting macro lens. This lens is pretty expensive, uh, it is pretty much the only one of its kind, uh, for Canon at least. Um, there exists a very uh, similar lens for Nikon, which also is 8 to 15 mm and I, I would guess that it is constructed in a very similar way. Uh, there are some other options if you're okay with a fixed 8 mm or a fixed 15 mm. But for fisheye zooms, the Nikon and the Canon 8 to 15 are pretty much the only options, uh, at least that I know of. I bought it kind of on an impulse, uh, so I used copy for a very good price in mint condition. So I figured I will buy it and play around with it, and if I don't like it, I could sell it. Uh, yeah, it's an interesting lens to experiment with. For those of you wondering about the image quality and sharpness, this lens is impressively sharp at all apertures. It's not often that I react with a wow when I look at the photos from a lens. And this is such a lens. Uh, all the photos I took with this lens are incredibly sharp. It 
it's actually pretty funny that I have to kind of draw in my stomach when I take a photo at 8mm, otherwise it would be in the picture. <laughs> One thing I really like about going out in early autumn like this is that not all trees are yellow and red, just some of them. And it makes the ones that are yellow and red stand out a lot more, uh, so you can get some better contrast. Uh, later in the autumn, all the trees are like brown, yellow and red and you don't really get much contrast, you just get a mess uh, of almost the same color. So it's nice to go out like this in early October when yeah, just some of the trees are yellow. I am constantly surprised by how uh, near I have to go what I'm photographing to get it framed as I envision it. <laughs> At 8mm you basically have to be in the middle of what you're photographing to get it framed in a, in a proper way. <laughs> I really like this scene right here. It is a prime example of how beautiful it can get when you just have some of the trees uh, in fall colors and the rest green. It makes it stand out and it gives contrast to the photo. I'm gonna try to capture it in a good way here. So there are some power lines I see now. Maybe I can try it Get it from the other side. I think that one can probably come out good with some small editing. You can actually correct the fisheye effect in Lightroom so that becomes a rectilinear image. You lose some quality, but it works pretty okay. So one pretty good thing about using this lens as a landscape lens that I didn't really think about before trying it is that it's very easy to frame your image in stuff because everything <laughs> tends to fall into the frame uh, so it's really easy to create images where you have stuff all around the edges and you can create like a nice framing uh, for your picture. Looks like a pretty good framing for a photo. Let's see if we can get it to fit with this lens. The picture looks pretty cool in the camera. It will be interesting to see if it still holds up when I get home.
So, it was a lot of fun playing around with this lens. Uh, actually more fun than I had expected. And uh, we'll see how much fun it will be when I get home and have a look at the photos. <laughs> I think that at least some of them came out pretty well when I looked at them in my camera. But I also know that many times that is the feeling you get. And then when you get home and open them up in Lightroom, they don't look very good at all. And particularly with super and ultra wide angle lenses, this seems to be the case for me very often. Uh, so I'm somewhat skeptical and uh, yeah, we'll see when I get home. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this little review of the Canon 8-15mm f4L fisheye zoom lens. It was nice trying it out and if the photos come out good I might keep it otherwise I will sell it and buy something some other interesting lens. That's it for this video and uh, please leave a like if you did like it it helps the channel a lot and please subscribe if you aren't already. See you soon again.